Has he got the players to press from the front? He hasn't got the pace at the back. We saw that. A goalkeeper can play? No. Maybe that'll change with Leno coming in. And that's what I just think. I think to get through until January, if he can change it with certain players, he has to adapt. Has to adapt? I, I, think, I think it's ignorant um, to suggest he has to adapt. Unai Emery is coming into this football club and he's had... Was it not stubborn from you had, to say that? No, I think he's had six weeks to work. Unai Emery has been a coach for ten years and been successful. He has his idea. The players have to adapt to him. And he has to find out, over this first season, which players can adapt to him and which players can't. Even if that means losing games? Of course he'll lose games. I mean, to be honest with you, I expect in the first season there's going to be some pain for Arsenal in this transition that they've gone through. But the last thing I would expect of any coach is to come into a football club. I think it's dangerous as well, by the way, to adapt. Because when you're working in your first six weeks in a job, and I know this from my, my biggest learning in Valencia, I set off on a path of what I was going to do, didn't get results. The minute I started to adapt and take away people away from my idea and change things and start to do different... I remember a game at Celta Vigo where I said, right, don't play out from the back, knock it long, let's get in behind it, let's be a bit more pragmatic. All of a sudden, the players... I threw away the previous three or four weeks' work that I'd done. If he starts to work on one idea with the players of playing out from the back, but then says to him, but, oh, but by the way, if there's a bit of pressure there, knock it long, he's starting to get confusion into players' minds. He's only I, I, Let me finish. He's only five to six weeks in. I saw Sam Allardyce's comments, I think, last week on the radio after the first game, where he talked about, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Unai Emery's not trying to avoid, you know, get eight points from five games to avoid relegation. He's trying to build a team to win a title. Trying to build a team with a style to win a title, not lump it long and get in behind it. So from my point of view, those players... So Mesut Ozil, let's take Mesut Ozil. You're right, he can't press from the front. So he's got to give Mesut Ozil an opportunity to, to, to basically give him enough rope to, to basically see what he's going to do with it. And, and the reality of it is, he said to Mesut Ozil, in the lead-up to the second game, you've got to work harder. The first time I've heard someone publicly call Mesut Ozil out, after one game, second game, he hooks him and subs him. He's working them out. He's basically saying, I'm giving you a chance. If you don't want to press, if you don't want to do what I'm saying, you'll be out of the team. And he's working out those players. Well, gonna, he's working out those players who are going to come with the journey. The last thing he should do, in my experience, which was a bad one, is adapt and change his idea because the players will walk all over him and think they can take him wherever they want to. So you think... Think of players, we keep thinking about the, the tough games that they've had. I didn't expect Arsenal to win these games, but all I'm saying is the things I saw, trying to play out from the back, putting a keeper under pressure, I think, why do that? Why play that high line? We've got a fella who can't run. Mustafi can't defend. Are we talking about top-level players here in, in the Premier League cannot adapt to actually say, "Hang on, we need to drop five, ten yards here. We don't need to kill ourselves playing round the box." I'm not saying play it long. I'm saying can check if it's not on to play short. Can we chip to the fullback as Chelsea did on the uh, on the second goal? That's what we're talking about. And the fact that we're saying that. We're looking at managers and they shouldn't adapt. When we've been on this show for years, I think about three or four years ago, we lauded Arsene Wenger on a Monday Night Football because he went to City and changed the, his plan that, that was and, a, got a, and got a great result. Was, but, so we're going to expect every single team to play exactly the same way, no matter where no, they go and what they do. But, but, but honestly, since that point, there's a, there's a big change happened in, I think, football coaching, I think in education. It's like you've got, you've got your children at home, right? This is how you want them to behave. This is, a, this is the standards that you set. If they then start to not do it and you then all of a sudden say, well, OK, now let you get away with that, they'll walk all over you. Gary, and you can't hang on a second, hang on a second. Talk about football on. players, the coaching system today is that Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, other managers, Pochettino, what they do, they don't have a plan B, they don't knock it long and bring... They, have, they make plan A better. And that is a different way of looking at it than we were used to, which, to be fair, I played in a team that could counter-attack, that could keep possession, that could go long. We adapted during games. It's different now. It's different. So you've, got to, you've got to give people players... For not, on this show, for not having... We've never criticised Sam Allardyce or not people, for, do, no, or for do, people not, for, for their style. We've always, we've always appreciated you're, different styles. We've never asked a manager to change his style. You're asking him to change his style I'm and not adapt. asking him to you change are. his style. I'm asking him to adapt and not leave yourself in situations... After five seven weeks? Or eight, seven or eight times in that game, they could have... Conceded a goal right. going through on the game. Does, does, we haven't doesn't finished. pressure come on you You're if, talking, if you keep on, on losing no. games? Jamie's little PowerPoint that he's done here, it's lovely, right? Goalkeeper, took it to Valencia. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper comfortable on the ball, right? Petacek, <laughs> if he's not comfortable on the ball, he'll bring the other guy in. Start attacks from the back. If the centre-backs or defenders can't attack from the back, he'll get, bring the new defenders in. Who? Hang on a second. Who? The high defensive line and they're pushing January. up the pitch. Pochettino does it, Guardiola does it. If they can't do it, 
he'll get him out and he'll get Mustafi out and he'll say, right, I need to bring somebody else in. Press from the front. If Ozil that's won't... That's what we Hang on a second. If Ozil won't do it, he'll get him out. He'll be, Don't change your idea, because that's the actual idea that all football managers now want to go to. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, you're talking about when they get these players out. I'm not saying the idea is wrong. It's what the best teams in the country do. But right now, there's nobody, I think, in that team who ticks that box. So basically... Saying, can, he, can he get through to... You're talking about having a lot of pain no. and this idea he may have... I don't know, have a four, five-year contract. But you're talking about before about your children and you bring... That's an academy coach is thinking, we'll just play like this no matter what. He's got to get results. He's Arsenal football man. He's Does not to have get to get results, results along the way. And first year, I think... That point, Jamie. First year, I think... First year, I think... First year, I think he'll be, he'll be, first year, think he'll be fifth or... First year, he'll be working it out, fifth or sixth, implementing his ideas. Next year, he should be challenging after three transfer windows for the top four. The year after, he should be moving up towards one, two and three. My view is this is a three-year project to try and get his ideas into the players, the transfer windows that we need. The last thing he should do in the early phase is lose control of the dress room by adapting and taking away his principles, in my opinion. Do you think he'll get that time? Three years. You have to get results. Absolutely. He'll get 12 months, get 12 and he'll start If the they're still season. losing games, I mean. Yeah, listen, I don't think Arsenal are going to sack Emery, and, and they shouldn't, no matter what. But I, 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 I can't believe the idea that we can't ask the top-level people in the Premier League to adapt in a football game. And you're telling me you can't give footballers other same messages. The, the best thing, the best thing you to... You can't understand not football the best thing that to much. do, and, and you know, the best thing to do is walk into a dressing room for four or five months, try and do it, and, and you'll find the difficulty of trying to tell players three and four different instructions for the same, for the same role. The it way we happen. grew up, you can't coach players like that no more, the way we were grew up. It's different. You just... You've got to adapt. Why is it different? Coaching, is it different? We've got to adapt as coaches, not the players. The players have changed. Education has changed. Young people have changed. You sound like the health sector. <laughs> the, the, the education you sound like the prehistoric like boys, 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 boys. Boys, boys, boys. boys, boys. Uh, it's a In good job. Day. Gary, it's a good Sorry. job that we're on until 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> 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 <laughs>